This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Feather Band. This design is stitched by first starting with a row of feathers. And it's a little tricky to get started, to be perfectly honest, simply because feathers, in order to be beautiful and flowing, kind of have to have a slight arch to them. So getting started, you want to just start with a teardrop shape, and then the rest of your feathers will kind of build off of that shape. And that will give them a nice arch. Another idea would be to start with maybe a circle, and that way they'll have a really nice curvy shape to them. It's entirely up to you. It's a design that definitely deserves playing with. It does look a lot a little plain, uh, and please don't judge it by that, because this design could easily become a really, really fantastic element in a quilt, especially in the sashing or borders. So you can see I'm just working really from one edge of my quilt into the center, stitching these feathers, just trying to fill out the space consistently with basically the same size and same shape of feather. Now I'm going to travel stitch to the opposite side and I'm going to work in feathers that interlock at the very tips with this first set. So you can see I stitched this feather interlocking it with the line before and now I'm travel stitching up the side of that feather and I'm going to overlap it with the feather on the opposite side. This is an edge to center to design, so I'm working from one edge into the center at all times. And it works really well in rows. This means that this design is going to work excellently in straight, narrow areas like sashing or borders. Sashing especially will be where this design really shines. It creates a really soft, horizontal or vertical, very soft, subtle, flowing texture, and that's usually what your sashing areas need. They don't need a lot of flashy movement, a lot of, uh, you know, crazy movement and design. Uh, they just need a gentle, soft, simple area for your eyes to rest, and this design will be perfect for it. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish feather bands. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check it out at freemotionproject.com.